Hey everyone, Goofy Dog here with GuitarGear.org. Here with episode three of Doppler on the Dumble. In this episode, Doug's gonna get real, real heavy. Now, the Dumble is known for being more of a blues, classic rock style type of amp, but I don't think a lot of people have actually realized that it can cover a lot of territory. And so, believe it or not, Doug's gonna show you some shred on this and it's absolutely amazing so stick around it's coming right up so you know we were talking a while back and you're talking yeah exactly um and you know we both you, you had mentioned that uh you know the dumble is known mostly as you know kind of a robin ford-esque you know bluesy type yeah. of thing but uh you know the one thing that really struck me was the fact that you could really rip it up and shred on this thing, and it just sounds killer. So uh, how about showing us a little bit about that and talking about it? Sure. Uh, you know, the interesting thing is I think all amps kind of have a reputation for what they do, A, kind of naturally. You know, you plug into an amplifier, and you have a relationship that kind of immediately go, oh, it does this really well. I found that in many ways the amplifiers that I've ended up enjoying most are the ones that I plug into, and right away I'm like, crap, I suck playing through this amplifier. <laughs> And I have to kind of figure out who I have to be on that amplifier. And I'm, you know, I'm not a guy like Joe Satriani or Steve Vianney, obviously, but in that, those guys have a signature tone. So they're looking for an amplifier to be able to reproduce their sound. I'm, I'm a guy that, that is, I, I kind of want to find out what the sound of the amplifier is and kind of figure out who that's going to, kind of, I mean, who I'm going to have to become as a musician to figure out how to make something musical with that. And because of that, you know, my relationship with all these crazy amplifiers in the room is one, a very personal one in that I, you know, I'm having to try and figure out what the amplifier manufacturer slash engineer slash designer, what they were really thinking. And with the Dumble, you know, that Robin Ford kind of bluesy thing, which we'll get to in a, in a few moments uh, after this, uh, is an important part of that. Um, but the interesting thing is I always love, and I did with this, the, this with the two rocks a bunch, I had a, a guitar on loan from the Gibson showroom in San Francisco that's this, it's a, it's a, Kind of, I call it the Black Death Flying V. It's black. It's tuned to C. It's a six-string flying V, and it's got EMGs. I mean, you know, it's not your Lonnie Mac guitar by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> and it just, it just reeks of metal. But the funny thing is, for the Two Rock, I was doing all these incredibly heavy things, and the amp was like, yeah, let's do this. And I ended up, you know, talking with Mac up there. A bunch, he said, actually, there are these guys, like, in Finland or wherever it is that the sun doesn't shine all winter, you know, that they, they're playing a lot of really heavy stuff on those amps, and... and you know, with this amp, it's not quite as heavy as, the, as that particular two rock was, but I was really surprised by, you know, really kind of how gritty it really got outside of the framework of, of how a lot of the guys are doing that. So uh, let's take a listen to a couple of Yeah, so what, how have you got the amp set up here? Ah, good question. All right, what I've got going here uh, is I've still got the preamp volume set about the same. I brought the bright switch up. Deep is there. I've got the tone, and I can do this from the foot switch. As a matter of fact, yeah, you can actually hear that uh, that's kind of the loud sitting in the bunch. The tone stack is bypassed, so that's not on. Uh, and then I've got <laughs> the gain all the way up. The ratio is basically the amount of signal passing through this piece of the circuitry, and then there's masters there. And I brought the, the presence up a little bit. So let's, let's uh, play through a couple of those. Okay. Sounds great. All right, well, the first thing is, is that, you know, there are a few people who think I'm a bit of a shredder out there. I don't understand it. Um, but, you know, what I love about an amplifier like this is that, you know, you really get a chance to, there's such a wide dynamic range, uh, in a musical range that, you know, if you want to actually kind of do some choppy, some choppier stuff, the amp really lends itself to it, and as well as that. My favorite things, especially on a Gibson type guitar with the Gibson scale, obviously, uh, is that kind of pentatonic y thing, you know, up here. <laughs> it's like Michael Schenker influenced those nice bends. <laughs> And that almost sounds a little more martially than I think people would imagine the Dumble actually goes. This guitar, the, sound, the sonic spectrum of the guitar is a little bit more 
classic Rocky, and you know, with some of my heavier guitars like my Ibanez seven strings, it's pretty scary how heavy this amp goes. In fact, let's check it out. All right. Um, so uh, the thing about about the amp that's so cool. Is, you know, Now, you know, with a little more tweaking, I could probably get that into something bigger in the heavy metal spectrum. But the thing is, is that, you know, when, again, people think of this amp. They don't necessarily think of kind of the, uh, the kind of legato. Shredding sort of playing that uh, that I think of sometimes, and, uh, you know. So it's uh, really interesting. Again, you can go from an amp that has so much separation from string to string in so many of the modes to something that is so heavy. And even when there's that much gain, again, if, you, if you're looking for a melodic. And that's 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 a dumble, folks. That's a dumble. That is played right through the dumble, and the dumble can be used as a shredder. Yeah. <laughs> so let's now let's pull it back a little bit, and we'll kind of go for something more traditional. Um, and again, I think an important thing, you know, as you watch, I haven't just switched guitars for the sake of oh, there's this guitar here, but more amount of like you know, an amp, quote unquote, like this, and and in the lineage of the dumble family. One of the beautiful things is that separates it from most traditional high gain amplifiers, not that there's anything wrong. Obviously, I'm a fan of high gain playing, hugely so, but what's neat is, is that the, the less high gain an amplifier's voice, the more you really hear the quality of, of the guitar. Right. Uh, simply because you're hearing less of them and the compression that happens, you know, uh, which can be really good, especially as you're playing really loud, aggressive music. You've got to find that spot in the mix where the guitar is going to sit. Uh, but you know what I love about this is that, that as opposed to squishing things together, it's actually working on the opposite paradigm, at least to my ear, which is space. And you know that's one of the reasons a little bit of reverb, maybe a little bit of delay, it adds an ambience and an openness to sound that I think. So you know, if guitar players weren't looking for more ambience and openness, they would they, there would be no delay and reverb market, um, and they wouldn't be putting them in Fender amplifiers and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Great. Oh well, that was. Pretty amazing. Um, you know, I said it, I believe, in episode one, that yes, the dumble can shred. And it really can. Uh, the, the landscape that this can cover, this amp can cover, is purely amazing. And, you know, at the hands of just a master guitar player like Doug Doppler, uh, it re he can really show what that amp can do. Uh, Again, I'm just really honored and privileged to have uh, worked with him on this uh, mini project. But uh, anyway, uh, stay tuned. There's still a couple more episodes uh, left where Doug is going to demonstrate some different guitars um, used with the, the Dumble, some Strat-like stuff, um, actually my Gibson Nighthawk. It's going to be really, really cool. So stay tuned and have a good one.